got the uh, test jig plugged in. This is uh, VVS's controller. Let's see what we got. It turns on. That's good. Let's see what version is it. I'll get that 3804. So let's go to uh, setup, and we're gonna test mode reflector. Seems to work. Try driven element. Oh, nothing. Nothing on the driven element. Director. You can probably hear it, but uh, yeah, it looks like the. Um, And he has something going on. There's something going on, but they're definitely not moving out. And we'll test the reflector one more time. And the director. So we're going to go to set up attract elements yes yep must sense that the uh, that must be the, the broken part alright looks like it just got to unplug it nah nothing's working so, unplug right. it alright it's the WA1 VVS mod alright we already tested it we know the driven elements not driving so it should help narrow it down crack into it and we'll uh, we'll see what happens interesting this one doesn't have the ground lug so well, I'm gonna take the back what I'm used to so this must be an older model unit it doesn't have the ground lug that mine has I've been in mine a hundred times so I know it inside and out Look at that. The chips physically the chips physically hit. Look at that. You see that? There's a chunk right out of the chip. So this took a good old hit. Looks like it might have been replaced before too. I don't know if I worked on it, but if I have it's been a while. So uh let's get to it. Let's open it. Let's take the the board off we'll set that aside so we have turn it around we're gonna put on our anti-static stuff and we're gonna meter those meter those up For the heck I know that one's but we'll check the other ones although they did work there you go 1695 17 that's about what we get out of it 17 let's see what this one says 661 so the other one is 5 5 and 4 1 2 3 4 5 and 4 and five and four. So here's the culprit. All right. Get rid of this for a second. Let's see if we can do this all in one shot. Normal plan of attack. We're going to do the chip quick thing. The flux is kind of stuck to the bottom. we we'll do a little flux on this one. We're on a any static mat now. Or a uh, static discharge mat. Put a little, just a little dot of flux on either side of the chip. And take a chunk of uh, chip quick, chip quick solder stuff. Let's 
probably a little too much so I'll take one stick it with the flux here stick it with the flux there solder irons all heated up just blend it and blend in that flux with the with the other one, with the uh, existing solder This one to this side it should just pop off if we get it hot enough. Just go back and forth gently. And hopefully. There it is. Finally. Alright. And this cleans right up just like that. I could use a little wick, but probably don't need to. There's all sorts of action going on in the neighborhood tonight on the scanner too, so. I want to get a little bit of chip quick off, that way they're, when we put or apply regular solder back on. Things will be back in order. It's pretty clean to me. Well, we tend my solder and iron here and maybe pick up some more uh, chip quick off it. So it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. It's pretty clean. So now. Now, grab a chip. Looks like I got three more. Well, two more after this repair. And, uh, gonna line it up the same orientation as the others. Make sure it's lined up on the pads. Alright, I'm gonna use the, uh, Camera right, we're back in back in business so let's meter it let's see make sure that we're getting the right readings for the stepper controller and then we'll go do give it another test 15 15 15 1 2 3 4 5 16 16 16 15 all right we're gonna go try it out see what happens just gonna do open frame here trying to got power so we're gonna go to setup mode. Look for test mode. And there's a reflector. All right. So let's go to the driver. Bang! Back in business. And since we're here, we'll do the director. Test it one more time. Yeah, sounds good and strong. All right, so replace the driver chip, we're good to go.